subject english standard 4 hello students my name is shruti nanavre and today we are going to learn a very interesting poem that is poem number 21 flint flint now this poem is about how flint is useful to us this poem is written by Christina Rossetti Now this poet Christina Rossetti's full name was Christina Georgina Rossetti She was born in 5th December 1830 in London UK and she died on 29th December in 1894 in Toronto Square She is a English poet who wrote various romantic devotional and children's poem now let's see what does this poem means what is a flint now a flint is a massive hard stone that produces sparks here the poet is compares the qualities of the flint stone to the other precious gem stones now here in this poem there are words or phrases used which are called as simile now what is simile so simile is a word or a phrase that compares something to other thing usually while comparing words like as like as or then is used generally we have heard people speak as white as snow it is a figure of speech which is called as simile now i will recite a poem so listen it carefully flint an emerald is as green as grass a ruby red as blood a sapphire shines as blue as heaven a flint lies in the mud a diamond is a brilliant stone to catch the world's desire an opal holds a fiery spark but flints hold a fire written by christina rossetti now let's start with the explanation of the poem an emerald is as green as grass now here the poet is is comparing precious stone emerald which is green in color the beautiful green color of the grass a ruby red as blood ruby is yet another precious stone which is red in color like blood a sapphire as blue as heaven now sapphire is also a precious gem stone which whose color is compared to the blue color of the sky now here the poet is has used the word heaven which means the house of god above the sky so the poet wants to say that the sapphire is blessed with the heavenly blue color the sapphire This gemstone is blessed with the heavenly blue color. A flint lies in the mud. Now we find a flint lying in the mud. Now here the poet is refers to all the gemstones, the precious stones, the beautiful stones that is emerald, ruby, sapphire. They have so pretty colors, but a flint flint is lying in the mud now why is it lying in the mud because of its dark color or because of its muddy appearance it is often found lying in the mud because now if you see a precious stone they are so pretty so sparkling we usually pick it up but because flint is dirty in the mud it is rejected and nobody takes notice of it a diamond is a brilliant stone to catch the world's desire 
Now we all know what is a diamond. It is a costly precious stone and it is very brilliant. Now brilliant means very bright and it catches the world's desire. World's desire means everyone in the world has a strong wish to own it. Everyone wants to have this diamond. An opal holds a fiery spark but a flint holds fire. Now this opal if you have seen the stone you can see that as though there are sparks within it. And the poetess Christina Rossetti says that the flint holds a fire. Now as I told you flint is a very ordinary stone to look at but it is used to produce fire. In the stone age also we know that the stone age people used to rub two flint stones against each other to produce fire. So though it looks simple it holds fire. Now once again we will recite a poem. Flint An emerald is as green as grass, a ruby red as blood, a sapphire shines as blue as heaven, a flint lies in the mud. A diamond is a brilliant stone to catch the world's desire, an opal holds a fiery spark but flint holds fire. So students, this poem is something about flint, which is not so good, not so beautiful, but it is useful for our life. This poem also reminds us of a proverb, that is, don't judge a book by its cover, means one shouldn't prejudge the worth of or value of something by its outward appearance alone. For example, the man may look very small and insignificant, but he can be a very powerful man in his circle. Now let's look at the meanings. First one is heaven means the sky. Second, brilliant means very bright. Third, world's desire means everyone in the world has a strong wish to own it. Fourth, fury means like fire, very bright. Fifth one, flint, very hard grey stone that is used to produce spark and light a fire. The next question is complete the following lines of the poem. So here in this question you have to complete the poem. First a sapphire dash mud. So the complete line is a sapphire shines as blue as heaven. A flint lies in the mud. Second a diamond dash desire. So here the complete lines are A diamond is a brilliant stone to catch the world's desire. Now the next question is answer the following questions. First, where does a flint lie? Yes, correct. A flint lies in the mud. Second question, is flint attractive or colorful? The answer is no. A flint is not attractive or colorful like other precious stones. Next, what can a flint produce? And the answer is flint can produce sparks and light a fire. So students, there is a homework for you. And the topic is make sentences. So you have to make sentence of your own. One has been done for you. The first one is brilliant. So the sentence is I want to be a brilliant student in future. 
second is diamond third is heaven fourth is stone and fifth one is fire so here you have to make sentences of your own so students hope you have understood our today's topic so keep learning and stay safe thank you